got to be smart in your positioning of how you play defense, okay? Uh, so I want to do a lot of kind of basic drills that we do in terms of guarding the basketball. Uh, we bring a bunch of guys out here so we don't get bored. I've been one of you guys, especially on a Friday, to tune out. That's why I was talking to that guy down there, okay? If you get one thing from me today, one thing, you're a better player. Every single coach in here, every high school player over there, pick up one thing from them. It's worth the money you spent here. Okay, it's worth your time. All right. First thing we're going to do, uh, which I think is the biggest and the hardest thing to do in basketball, is close out. Close out on a shooter. Close out on a ball handler. Close out on a guy who can do both. Okay. Uh, it's the hardest thing to do in basketball. So what we do. Every single day, close out drill. Three to five minutes, every day. You have to be able to close out on the ball. If you cannot guard the basketball, as simple as this sounds, if you cannot guard the basketball, you cannot play, period. It doesn't matter what defense your coaches run, man, zone, this, that, the other. If you cannot guard it, you cannot play, okay? Every guy here is going to have guys that are quicker, that they have to guard, bigger, stronger. That's okay. There's no crime in knowing that the guy you're guarding is quicker. It's only a crime if you allow him to beat you. Okay? We talk a lot in our practices about kings and queens. Okay? And we don't use the term queen to be like, you know, a woman or less, somebody that's less than. When you think about the game of chess, the king is more important than the queen, okay? There's certain knights that guys, as quick as he is, okay, there's going to be knights where he might be a queen matchup. The kid that's guarding, or he's guarding might be quicker. And he's going to have to understand that. He's going to have to understand how to play that matchup that specific night. There's going to be nights where, many nights where he's a king matchup, where he's going to be able to exploit his ability defensively. Okay? You have to understand how you can guard players. So what I want to do right now is a basic drill that we do. We call it um, Vegas closeout. Don't ask me why, but we just call it Vegas closeouts. I need, uh, like, this is a little slick here, so why don't we come on this side. Let's get about three or four guys uh, down here in a line. Any three that want to be on a be on a drill, okay? And let's get like three or four guys out here, okay? Give me some guys that are motivated that want to just get in the mix, okay? This is a very simple drill. We're not going to do too much. Coach, can I get that? All right. So number one, we're not. It's going to look a little bit different for how I do it. But the number one thing we want to talk about when we're closing out on the basketball is this line here is literally going to throw the ball out. Okay, triple threat fuel. It's all I need. Literally, it's all I need to do. Okay, so we're going to close out on the basketball. Our first two strides or steps have to be long, have to be explosive. So I'm, I'm going to walk through it, but it's one, two, and then we've got to break ourselves down. We close out two hands high. A lot of coaches are one, some are two, okay? Years and years I've been trying to figure out which is better, and I've come to the, for me, it's two, okay? Why we want to close out with two hands high is to disrupt or deter Guys from shooting freeze, what we call rhythm freeze, naked freeze, whatever you want to call it, or, or, you know, or, or open jump shots, okay? So we're coming out one, two, explosive and hard, low, and then we've got to drop our feet, punch the shot here, hands high, our tail, our butt, to the basket. Okay, our butt to the basket. So we're going to do that, we're going to yell, shot! Shoot it with a yellow shot. Okay? Well, notice what I want to see in here, what, what these guys are going to work on is going to punch the shot. Okay? Balls up. So I'm up 
I need him today just to be a little bit more close. So take his right foot, get a little higher. Because again, he's guarding first thing. Yeah. Joe. He's guarding Joe. His teammates guarding Bob. And why he's in this gap, okay? I like the pointing. I love it. Everything about this guy. Who do play So if I'm uh, if I'm guarding Steve, okay, first thing, Evan's in the gap, okay? He might be saying, you know, Chris, I'm on your I'm on your right, I'm on your right, or whatever. Okay, I'm on your left. Alright? So I'm guarding Steve, tail to the sideline, I'm here. Steve kind of sees Evan in the gap, so it's not like he's got a lot of real estate to attack. Now some teams play denial. So if Evan was not denying this guy. And I'm a weak defender. Look at the gap now Steve has, or the real estate Steve has to attack. I don't, I mean, everybody in here, I think, can get from into this space and get in there, okay? Why I like, and I'll come back here to, the, to what we call the gap, okay? Here, I drop, for me, I have to drop your left foot down a little bit more. Yeah. So he's on what we would call a triangle between his man and the ball. Well, if you could visualize a triangle between one, two, and three, okay, we want him on the point of a flat triangle, okay, to be in a good gap, okay? Our defense is played inside out, okay? What's the number one priority in defensive basketball? Anybody have a good Number one priority on defense, what do you think? Beautiful, what's your name? Let's not take a nap. Harry, number one move. To stop the basketball. Everybody is guarding the ball. Okay? So, with Evan in the gap, if there's a drive, if I don't do a great, good enough job and, and Steve's able to drive the gap a little bit, we're not going to fold. This is how we would play that, Evan. He'd be here, here, staying close, but just by hand, let him be a shooter. Here, here, okay? Yeah. So he's in the gap. He's already in help. His positioning is help. Let's go to the example of a he's denied. Same example. I do a poor job. Steve blows by me. He's now got to come over. He's playing outside to inside, and then there's the kick. Come back to, back to outside. You cannot, in my opinion, have success. I don't care how good a defender he is, how quick he is. The odds of him going from outside Inside, back to outside, no chance. No chance. Okay, I don't care what his length is, how athletic he is. So we believe in inside out in terms of how we play defense. So he's in the gap, right? Ball's here. Okay? So if there's a drive here, he's there, there's a kick, he's got a much shorter closeout to the ball. So how this drill is going to work is this. You're, you stay for a second. All right, you jump into the gap. Okay, ball is here. All I need you to do is just try to jump past you to yourself. Come down to this white line. You are now going to bump the cutter. Okay, so you come down to that beat your guy. Bump him here, bump him here. Release. You're done. Pass it. Close out. Good. Now you can go one side to the other. Boom. Same thing. Get in the gap. Bump him, bump him. Bring it back. Close out. Good, hold. So we get the gist. Now you say, how would we build on this drill? I'm going to show you. So let's reset it. Let's reset it. Get down into these wings. Okay. What I need you to do is, all right, is again, you're closing out. Shot! Hold! Okay. Okay, you throw this side. Gap! Can you gap? You buy yourself right now, but you got to pause. Okay. He starts to cut. I'm jamming him. I'm jamming him. Now I'm going right here. Get back, and you shot, and you come back, okay? I'll show you how we build on a progression to make this a little bit more live, okay? Because right now it's not live, nobody's trying to score. Okay, go ahead. Jump, jump. Good, good. Sway it back. Oh. Good. Good, go, 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 go. Quick. Good shot. Oh. Good shot. Good. Good. Close. Good. good. Jump, hold. Trying to get both feet in the paint. That's a point. That would be a point. Offensive kid, not shooting, not trying to drive, so you try to, you can go pace. But once you get two feet in the paint, go back out. If you don't get your feet in the paint, that's the goal of the defense. So 
exhibition, all right, that I could, I don't have a degree in that. Every single guy in here has an ego, okay? And you have to be able to simple as it says to put your ego aside, because when you play a team game, it is not about you, okay? Toughness is doing stuff that may not directly benefit you. That's one way of describing how I see toughness. There's a lot, and they're all in my office. 